Hey, welcome back to the Fit Survive channel. So I have an interesting find here today. So this is an electric water filter. This is from BKLES. I'm guessing that's how you would pronounce that, read that, whatever. So this is their BK2000 model. Uh, and so yes, as you can guess, it's gonna be electric. Uh, it's gonna be uh, battery powered, basically. Uh, water filter, which is pretty interesting. Uh, most of the filters I've used before in camping and uh, kind of in survival kits, has been something like the Sawyer filter, which can be attached to a bottle, a squeeze uh, pouch, or you can use it as a straw. Um, I've used the membrane solutions. This is also like a straw. It can also be attached to a, um, a water bottle, something like that. I used the membrane solution. Um, this is the, the gravity fed system. And so it takes a little bit less effort with the gravity fed system, but still nonetheless, in most uh, water filters, what you're using, it's something you have to pump. Um, I've also used like Katydyne filters before and where you literally have to like pump the filter. Uh, whereas this electric one, what's cool about it is that with it being battery powered, uh, it doesn't take any effort from you per se uh, to get the water filtered out. So it does come in a really great pouch here. I like this. Uh, you can attach this either like with this hook, with this uh, little like D ring there, or else you can attach it to a bag if you want here. And so also in the front, you have this mesh uh, kind of elastic pocket, which would be a great place for carrying all the hoses and stuff like that, which we'll be getting to over here in a bit. All right, then the filter itself is fairly lightweight. It's like 350 grams, uh, I think is what the, the user manual said. And so fairly lightweight. And so as I said, this does have, uh, it's basic battery powered. It is USB Type-C rechargeable. See right there is the port for that. Um, it has a built-in 2,800 milliamp hour battery. Um, and so that's good enough for, they say 168 liters per charge. And so shouldn't be too concerned about the battery dying on you if you're out for, I think they, they say like one person, like 12 days or so. I'm not sure exactly how long anyways. But anyways, the 168 liters, if it gives you that much, I mean, that should be more than enough for, you know, a camping trip and whatnot. All right, so pretty simple here. The power button, of course, you're gonna turn on the pump, start pumping water through here. This light button turns on this pretty dim little flashlight. Um, I see that mostly useful as just kind of indicating the power, the battery here, that you're gonna turn on the pump for no reason. So you can see right now, mine is uh, three of four, so right on 75% on the battery. All right, so the filtering system here is pretty cool. Uh, it has a five stage system. Let me show you what else it comes with right here. So they have all the hoses, of course. Uh, I do like that they have the, the, hose, the hoses in two color. So up top, when your clean water comes out, you have a clear hose. And then down below for the dirty water, you have a black hose, which is a bit longer also. Which I already think that was a good idea. Okay, so the charging cable for this. And now this is the pre-filter. And so what this does, is this attaches to your dirty hose. And so you would put this side into the dirty water, which a little bit later here, we're gonna be filtering this muddy water. Had to search around to find some really nasty water, which of course uh, you, you should really find the cleanest water you can find and filter that. I'm not trying to find the dirtiest, but for this review, I'm intentionally finding something dirty uh, so you guys see how it works. So anyways, this is gonna be the first stage uh, filtering. This goes into your water source. And what this is, this is these uh, hollow membranes. It's like a 0 0.1 micron filter. And you can see that below there's like, like tubes in there and stuff. And so what that's gonna do, is gonna filter out any of the, the major uh, dirt and whatever else and make sure it's not getting into your pump system since this has to be pumped through it since it's electric and after that you have um, Another four stages. So it's five stages all together including this pre-filter So the next stage is uh, what they call a KDF filter Get this Open here There we go. So the first stage is a KDF filter and so what that is is I didn't know what it was I had to google it myself uh, basically what it is, it's kinetic degradation, uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. I can't read this, kinetic degradation fluxion. And so it's supposed to be cleaning out uh, things like chlorine, heavy metals, stuff like that. And so that's going to be your next stage. After that, we have, you have some activated charcoal. Uh, and so that is your, giving your carbon layer, layer there. And that is from coconut. It's kind of interesting. And so the main reason for that activated uh, charcoal is actually to uh, take care of the flavor of the water after you've gone through all this filtering uh, layers. Then you have a layer of cotton after that. This will show you kind of that. So you have some cotton up top and so make sure to get rid of uh, any large sediment, make sure that charcoal is not coming through to what you're drinking. And then one more time, you have the exact same concept as on the, the first stage where you have the these hollow tubes, which is 0 0.1 micron, uh, all that kind of good stuff. And so anyways, go through the five different stages. Uh, should do really well for cleaning your water. 
And then this actually entire thing is replaceable because that's what this is right here. And so if you notice that you wa your water starts slowing down, the flow is not going very quickly, then what you can do is you replace that completely. And so you just toss this whole thing, slide a brand new, new one in there. And the same thing goes for the pre-filter. That's what this is. I won't open it up. It's the exact same thing there. So the same thing with the pre-filter, you can just basically replace it. And I'm guessing your pre-filter will probably need to be replaced more often simply because it's going to be taking the brunt of the dirt and whatever else. And you can also backwash this by basically reversing this and placing this on the, the exit side right there. All right, so talk about the flow uh, with this being electric. It basically provides 350 milliliters to 700 milliliters, depending on how clean the, your water is of basically flow. And so that's pretty cool. Again, depending if uh, how many people you have out camping with you. Uh, whenever I go camping, generally I'm out with like maybe 10 teens or so. And so filtering that much water for that many people can be pretty intense. So as, whereas with something like this, I'd really cut down the time, cut down the effort, you know, to be squeezing all the bags and stuff. But would I use this for a survival kit uh, or a bug out bag? Um, absolutely not. It's too complex to use in a survival uh, scenario. Uh, basically for anything like survival where you're depending on it with your life, you want it to be as simple as possible. And so that's why I would stick with something, you know, like a straw, uh, be it the Sawyer or the membrane solutions for survival situations, simply because you don't want to rely on something that has a lithium battery in it. All right, so anyways, uh, that's the basics for this filter. And so let's go ahead and I will show you this water. And so we'll be filtering this out and show you the, how, how well it does on that and how quickly it filters it. All right, you can see we got the black hose uh, into this really nasty water here. Lots of filthy, oops, mud in there. All right, and so I did not attach the clear hose. That way you can kind of see the actual flow rate of this. So turn this on, make sure the hose isn't kinked. Then you can see why they say that it has a 350 to 700 uh, milliliter flow rate. So it does pretty good, pretty quick business to that dirty water there. So basically does a pretty good job, uh, pretty quick. And again, like I said, the major advantage of this is that it is basically effortless, whereas you just toss this into the water, put this into your bottle or wherever else, turn it on and it, it'll start pumping and purifying the water for you. All right, so this filter, it costs like $54 on Amazon. Uh, right before I recorded this video, I checked and they had a 40% off coupon. And so I have a link down uh, to their to that basically in the description of the video. So if you're interested, be sure to go check that out. Right now is a good time to get it while it's on sale. So let me know what you think about this, if this is something that you would use, um, I don't know, maybe like a camping, whatever else. Anyways, let me know what you think, and thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.